1628. At a young age, Bunyan learned his father's tinkering trade. As an adult, his work as a tinker would enable him to provide for his family. Bunyan decided to join the Parliament Army, which was currently fighting with the king. After joining, he met his future bride, and they were soon married. Sadly, the plague struck Elsto and took the life of his bride. Through these hardships, the Lord gave Bunyan a desire to go into the ministry. In years following, Bunyan began to teach a small group of people, and over time, they grew into large gatherings. Many came from far and wide to hear the tinker preach, and his reputation grew. Providentially, the son of King Charles I banned all unlicensed preachers. After this de decree, Bunyan was on his way to preach one day, when a friend stopped him and said that at the top today, the Wingates, a noble family that was loyal to the king, would throw him in prison. Bunyan was not afraid and went to preach. He was arrested and thrown into prison on charges of teaching without a license. While there, the Lord gave him a desire to write. During this time, he wrote many books, including The Resurrection from the Dead, Prison Meditations, and Grace of to the Chief of Sinners. His most famous book, as you know, was The Pilgrim's Progress. Over the course of his life, he wrote over 60 books and was a great visionary for the work of Christ. On his deathbed, he closed his eyes and said, My scars I, I carry and now carry with me. Welcome, Christian. 
Christian set off again, free of his burden and full of joy. As he was walking, suddenly two strangers jumped over the wall and began walking with him. The name of one was formalist, and the name of the other, hypocrisy. And they continued on with him until they came to the hill of difficulty, at which point the pathway divided. The way to the right was called destruction, and the way to the left, danger. They took these roads, and they were never heard from again. But Christian chose the straight, narrow way that led up the hill. By and by, Christian came to the palace beautiful. He was welcomed in and stayed there some time to refresh. When he wished to go on his way, he was clothed with armor and given a sword and shield. As he continued on his way, he was met by one Apollyon. This fiend had come to, the, to take the Christian back to his service. But Christian stoutly withstood him. They fought a great battle in which Christian prevailed. He continued and walked through the valley of the shadow of death. Though he was frightened, he took comfort from God's word. He came out and met faithful. They walked on together.
by God's providence. They met friends along the way, warned of the flatterer and the enchanted land. By God's grace, they escaped. Christian were able to see the celestial city off in the distance. It gave them courage and they continued on their journey. gentlemen, boys and girls, and most of all fellow Christians. In closing, I just the parallels of our walk to that of Christians, how those who do not enter at the wicked gate, or do not continue in the way, will be bound hand and foot and cast into the lake of fire. In contrast, those who endure the hardships of life, who walk the straight and narrow path with patience, will be welcomed into their home across that strong Jordan, and into heaven with Christ. And now I'd like to thank each and every one of, of you who made this possible. Hannah, thank you for writing the script. We couldn't have done this. And okay, hopefully everybody grabbed a handle because you're gonna need one for this next part.